Hello everybody, my name is Rick Murphy and this is scripting part two. Today's topic is introspection. That's when you ask the code to tell you something about the code itself and Python is one of the languages that supports that. To recap a little bit, last time we took a look at this data tab and learned a little bit about the structure. We would play around things on the shell tab and put together what we liked in the scripting tab where we would execute them on the Execute tab. Okay, coming here to the scripting tab. We put together this little script here where we were just setting some values directly. And then at the end, I merely stated that it's usually better to call the methods. And it didn't really explain how you get that information. Well, as soon as I posted the video, make human developer Dust Storm gave me some tips, and I'm going to share those tips with you now. So let's come to the shell tab here. Here on the shell tab, let's start off by showing the magic of the tab key. We're going to enter some things down here. Remember, we have g.app.modelCamera. Okay, if I type AP and hit the tab key, it finishes it for me. I'm hitting a dot again, MOD, to start off model camera. Again, I'm hitting the tab key, but this time it couldn't finish it because there's more than one possibility. Notice up here, it just listed those possibilities. Okay. Back down here. Finish off model, hit the tab key. It finished it for me. It's saving me some keystrokes. Now I'm going to type in a dot. And the next thing I'm hitting is the tab key. And look at what happened here. Okay, it lists out all the members of this class. We have methods. The methods have a little left paren there. You know it's something callable. And also attributes. They're the ones that don't have the paren. Okay, the attributes are things I can set or print out. And of course, the methods are things that I can call. Now, I know from experience that if you've got something, uh, an attribute like horizontal rotation, and you want a function to set it, chances are that function is called set horizontal rotation. There it is right there. And you can guess how to call it. It's going to take uh, one value, which is the rotation itself. Let's give that a try. Okay, now another tab, we can see that our person was rotated to face the front. Uh, I'll go ahead and toss in another little thing here. We can print some information about something um, if there's some documentation embedded inside the code. So let's say, let's start off with a G. Uh, let's start off with G.app and print out this built-in attribute, underscore, underscore, D-O-C, and then again, two underscores. Okay, there was nothing there, but let's go a little deeper. Model camera dot underscore, underscore, D-O-C, two underscores. And we've got a little documentation here that was buried in the source code. Okay, that tab key is pretty cool, but there's another way to get the same information, and that's with the built-in Python command, D-I-R, so again, D-I-R-G dot app model camera. And that's giving us uh, all, the, all the members of this class. It's not really showing us which ones are methods and which ones are attributes, and they're kind of squished together. I like the tab, but if you're doing something like this in code, you could use D-I-R. Now we guessed what the parameter was for set horizontal rotation, but let's say you don't want to guess. Okay, there's a module that we need to import called inspect. So I'm going to import inspect. We have to import it before we can use it. Now I'm going to print out inspect.getargspec, just like that, and then enter this thing we've been working with. All the way through to the method name. And that is given a specification right here. Okay, 
Uh, of the args, it shows there's two args, self and rot. Rot is for rotation. The self is automatically passed in because that's the model camera itself. So we have model camera dot set horizontal rotation is passing in the model camera as a self. You don't have to pass it as a parameter. Anything after that you would pass, which is the rotation here. And we could do that on any method. Okay, this tab command and the dir, they work on the objects like we've been showing here, but they also work on the class definitions. The class is the um, definition of the structure and the object is a runtime instance. How do we go from here to the class? Okay. One thing is if you print something that doesn't really have a value, like g.app.modelCamera, and not going any further, um, it can't really print that out. What it's telling us instead is what it is. And in this case, uh, it's a camera. It's actually defined in camera.py, and that will be in helpful information later when we look at source code. And within that file, there's an orbital camera. So we could use these commands on that. Uh, it's not going to work unless I actually first import camera. GIR camera dot orbital camera. And you see we get the same information. Another way to get that class would be with the Python str command g.app.modelCamera. And again, it tells us that it's camera.orbitalCamera. All right, that's introspection. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. That's all for now. Until next time, goodbye.